Hello there. Welcome. This is Mehmet Ama. Whichever name you prefer, you can call me that. That's absolutely fine. Welcome to this series. In this series, we discuss some of the big ones in life. And today, I want to go to the very, very top and we work our way down from there. If you've attended any of my courses, content is king. It's something you've heard many times. Content is king. Many people have come to accept this statement from Bill Gates. Well, today I want to extend that. Content is king. Content is a lot of things. It determines a lot of things, but I'm going to take you even higher to something that is even more critical than content. You ready for it? The one thing that is supreme in terms of everything. Guess what it is? Take 30 seconds and guess. Tell me what you think. Wait for it. Boom. It is time. If content is king, time is the beast. Time will allow you to do things or time will hinder you from doing things. The funny thing with time is that a lot of us get surprised by it. It doesn't make any sense because we knew from the day we were born that there was 24 hours in a day. Life is fair in the sense that we all get the same 24 hours in a day. And some people learn to leverage the 24 hours for phenomenal things and the rest of us, well, 24 hours is not enough. I've been there, done that. 24 hours has not been enough for me for a long, long, long time. And then I came to the realization that the focus of everything I do should be time. You know, if you are still in the mindset that money is supreme, then you are still climbing the progress ladder. You haven't quite actualized. Because when you get to actualization, when you have built yourself right off and you've got high enough, the priority begins to change. The priority does not become money because you have enough of it. If you've set up your systems well, enough of it comes in regularly to sort you out. Once you've taken care of the basic, that is money. The next most important thing, actually at that time, this thing becomes everything and it's time. Time to think. Time to wind down. Time to recuperate, regenerate. Time to refresh. Time so your brain can have a break. And when the time comes for crunching, you are actually fresh and ready to crunch. It's all about the time. I found myself a mentor a few years ago. The person looked at my schedule and the person says, hell, you will kill yourself. I'm like, I know. I'm going at breakneck speed. But I've got this, that, that and the other to do. And the minute I do those things, I'd have actualized enough to start thinking about your way of things. Well, I found myself having ticked off a lot of those things a few months ago and then came the realization that some of the money I have now accrued will have to be spent again <laughs> to buy back time for me. Time. This video we are recording is a video that will require time to edit. So I bribed Walter to do the editing for me. That's one very clever way of buying back some of the time. I have fish. I love fish. I eat more fish than anything else. I, I go to the fish market and you buy your fish and they can load it right up into the back of your car for you with the skills and the smells and everything else to bring home. When you get the fish home, it will take you a good hour, two hours maybe, to clean that fish, to prepare that fish, and to have the fish ready to cook. Yeah? That time is time that I can also buy back very quickly. By paying less than 100 dirhams to a guy at the fish market. And whilst I have paid him and he is cooking the fish, I could actually sit in the restaurant and do my lunch. Or I could even sit in the restaurant and write something or plan something. I can even teach a class online in that time and I have done it before. I have sat in the fish market waiting for my fish to be prepared and grilled. And whilst I did that, I went to Zoom and run a class 
by the time the class was finished the fish was ready i took the fish i brought the fish home and the rest they say is history by being prepared to pay a certain amount of money you will have people capable of doing some of the mundane things in life for you so that you buy back some of the time you would have wasted on the mundane to do higher order elevated thinking or resting or chilling sitting down quietly in a place not running around helter skelter is premium actually as you add value to yourself as a human being it is so important that you understand this vital thing and you don't carry on running yes in the early days you have to run in the early days it's inevitable that you run you have no way of paying for the help and there are no systems in place to self generate you must do the running but the balance is knowing when enough running has been done so that you can take a chill pill and start looking at where in your systems you can buy time from other people but that's the whole thing of getting employees into your business you pay the employees for their time so that they spend that time doing things for you that you would have otherwise done by paying some of your money to have some of these things done for you you end up buying time for yourself and you can use that time you bought back to do anything of your choice of course for some people anything of your choice is actually chilling so that your systems keep ticking even when you're chilling that is for those of you who've made it for those of us who have been made it we buy back some of the time so we can at least get strategy time you want to spend your time on strategy rather than execution anybody can execute on an already established strategy you share that strategy with employees and those guys can take your blueprint and they can execute your blu uh, blueprint for you suitably effectively as long as you've got adequate monitoring systems in or motivational systems in but the strategy of it is something that you need to be able to do on your own and if you don't have the time to sit down and put it all together you will make many silly mistakes that will cost you your business sometimes your health and wealth completely spending time with family becomes very important as you become successful the whole point of trying to make money is because you want to spend money with the people you love but sometimes the systems you set up to make the money can consume you so that there is nothing left you've heard of the old age chief executives who never saw their kids who never had any interaction with the kids i watched a go cast yesterday of a guy who had actually tried to commit suicide at 19 and yeah when you listen to the story of him and his dad and his dad calling his secretary felicia to come ride with him you knew the kind of guy he was he was an executive had a lot of time to build his business spent a lot of time on the business did not even notice his son's struggle well he loved his son to bits but he never got the time to even notice him struggle certainly did not see him prepared to go to the bridge to jump but the boy fortunately jumped the bridge and miraculously got saved by a sea lion that's how he and his son got a second chance but he was a guy busy working busy making money doing well providing the trappings but sometimes it will cost you in your personal time is a beast like anything else that's a beast it can do wonderful things for you and when you have actually tied your time up in some things it is a beast because it will self-destroy it will help you to self-destroy you have to be very mindful of time so that you take back some of the time to refill your cup remember the principle is always that your cup runs over and it's the run over that blesses other people your own cup must be kept full so that you are able to give spillover to other people you have to take some of the time to sit somewhere to think you have to take some of that time to look back over your strategy and see what's working and what's not working so that you can identify where your gaps are and you can plug your gaps 
But in order to do this, you need to have the time to look at it anyway. If you don't create that time, like most of us don't, what tends to happen is that you just run around like headless chicken. You are busy for nothing. You can be very busy and achieve very little. I reiterate, when you are starting your business, it's not a good time to take time off because you often can't afford it. But when you've got the business going for a while, when you've established your systems, when your systems begin to mature, remind yourself that it is absolutely critical that you begin to review your systems. Some people have the dump or delegate. So you either dump or you delegate. You have to look at the things that are in your systems to do. There are some things that don't serve any purpose, doesn't bring much benefit. Those things you need to dump them. Dump. They go in your dump. Bye. Bye. We don't do it again. See ya. There are some things that are quite important that cannot be dumped but do not have to be done by you. Knowing the difference between these things is the difference between the really productive people and the rest of us. Knowing which things are not worth doing and so should go in the dump. Knowing the difference between that and the things that you cannot afford to do without. That's one. Having the good sense to actually take the things that you cannot do without and realizing the things that need you to do and the things that other people can do for you. I hear that a lot. And I hear, let's bring it to the home. The, the, the woman has to do the cooking. Okay, might be that you're good. your wife is a really good wife, but she's a good cook, and you enjoy her food, wonderful. But there's no rule that says that she's got to cut the onions. No, she can still cook food her style with onions that are cut for her. You can buy cut onions. <laughs> onions don't always have to be bought whole. Mm -mm so that you can come back on some of the prep time and she can turn up to the kitchen, spend 30 minutes cooking wonderful meals for you to eat rather than three hours in the kitchen trying to do all the prep. Yeah. You might want to get your meat tenderized already or you might even have it so that it is ground for you in advance. Yeah. You might decide to get things almost good to go so that the person who's going to cook just turns up, seasons it and is good to go. Yeah, you don't need to grind things by hand anymore. You don't even need to chop things by hand anymore. You can have a food processor, you toss a few things in, brrr, you are done. It allows you to do things in seconds, but the actual recipe and the actual making of the food and the taste and the essence of the cook is still there even if the onions are cut. Now that's the difference. Most people don't have the good sense to see the efficiency and the cost of inefficiency here. The onions have always been bought, so the onions have to be bought. No, not really. Sometimes you have to substitute onions for cut onions. The fish has always been bought. Well, you can easily substitute it and get clean fish. And those who want to take it to the extreme, as I've discovered here, actually have the fish grilled for them at source. You pick up the fish, it's cleaned, it's grilled, and you bring the grilled fish to your fridge. And whatever you wanted to eat with the grilled fish, you can still cook and eat with the grilled fish and have a banging meal. Still with your wife's signature this, your wife's signature that, and have a meal that your wife has cooked, taking a fraction of the time that your wife would have otherwise used to cook. That way, those of you who have intellectual wives, can have space for your wife to do their intellectual things and still have you enjoy some of their cooking. Oh, you are cheapskate, don't worry. You can cut the onions yourself. Yes, you and the kids could do the prep so that when she comes, the prep is already done and she's just doing the cooking, the assembly. Yes, that's what her essence really is. Most people mm -mm, will not realize this thing. And so what has always been done is you come to the kitchen, you stand in the kitchen, you cut everything, and then the woman says she's tired. Oh, I'm too tired, I can't do it today. Well, by not having the good sense to cut out the things that are not essential, you miss out on the whole thing. She's too tired, she's not in the kitchen. You don't even enjoy her essence at all. With a little bit of forethought, knowing the things that can be delegated, and delegating those things, it can be taken to business, it can be taken to anything. Remember, time is a beast. 
If you don't use it effectively, it will take some vital stuff from you. It will take things from you sometimes that you cannot replenish, you cannot replace. It will cost you your health if you are not smart to delegate some of the things that you should delegate. Because in the end, we are not robots, we are not machines. There is only so much that your body can give. And if you push it beyond its limits, you will pay the ultimate price. Those who have the common sense to know this thing and to refuse to approach their threshold and learn to dump what needs to be dumped and delegate what needs to be delegated, especially if you're going to go down delegation, you've got to be smart enough to prepare the people you want to delegate to. You've got to be smart enough to make sure that the people you are delegating to are trained and ready. The people you are delegating to have got buy-in into your vision. They are passionate about the things that you want to achieve. When you manage to get your delegates to do that, they take things a few notches up, sometimes even executing on passions that you have not shared with. That's what you want to do. So time is a beast. You can keep taking time. But eventually, if you are not smart to balance things off, if you don't trade time off, time will take back from you things that you are not willing to give. Invest some of it in the early days. Yes, sometimes you will invest heavily in the early days. But remember that that is not sustainable. So don't push that for too long. As soon as you are able to learn to reduce the demand you put on your own body, learn to take back some of the time, sometimes buy back some of the time, pay a cleaner to clean your house for you, pay somebody to make infographics for you, pay somebody to run your data through the analysis software for you so that you can look at the software output and actually figure out exactly where the strategy is. That is the key difference between the smart ones who do incredible things and the rest of us who get stuck with our dreams in the mundane. Time is a beast, remember that. At all times, it's a beast. And in dealing with a beast, you've got to be careful. You've got to make sure your safety and your securities are in. It's a beast. Write that somewhere and treat it as such. You'll be thankful later. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.